Has it ever happened to you? Maybe it was in business. Maybe it was a social situation. Maybe it was in a relationship. Maybe you didn't realize at the time, but you realized it shortly thereafter. What it was, it was a huge missed opportunity. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished judges, yes. Today I'm going to share with you a story, a true story, that happened to me a long time ago. It began in high school. I was 16 years old. I'm hanging out with my best friend. The names have been changed to protect those of innocence. <laughs> Let's just call him John. Me and John, we did everything together. We ran around, we went cruising, we did everything. No matter where, where I went, John was there. Where John went, I was there. We hung out all the time. One day comes, we go to his house. Where is his house? <coughs> I remember the day like it was yesterday. I'm only 20. <coughs> We're sitting there watching a show on TV, and this girl walks in the house. I was like, John, who's that? Because you don't talk to her. That's my sister. <laughs> it's John. He goes, no, watch the show. <laughs> that was the beginning of a lot of torment for me. Because as you know, when you're a teenager, when another teenager has something on you, they're going to use it, they're going to twist it, they're going to push it, they're going to make it as difficult as they possibly can for you to survive every single day. This went on for a while. Hey, John, why don't we take your sister? No. John was one year older than me. His sister was one year younger than me. So, of course, you know, John doesn't want to hang out with his sister that is two years younger than himself. John, let's take, let's take her with us. Her name is Hannah. Hannah, let's bring Hannah. We're going to go do this. She, no, 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 we're not going to take Hannah. She's got this to do. John, well, we're just going to go do this. You know, we're going to this party. Let's take Hannah. There's going to be other younger people there. No, we're not going to take Hannah. So the day came that I finally got smart. Finally. I said, John, why don't you meet me over at this place? I said, okay, you know, we'll meet at this time. Okay, great. Well, I sent John to our meeting location. No! And his sister was going to be at home alone. <laughs> so I mistakenly go to his house, knock on the door. Hannah answers the door, of course, as I knew she would. Hannah, where's John? Oh, he's not here. He just left a few minutes ago. I was like, oh, that's too bad. Feel a little thirsty. <laughs> and then I go. So Hannah and I, we chatted for a while. And of course, I actually knew that Hannah was interested in me as well. From that day on, it was a challenging for John, because <laughs> Hannah was always with us. No matter where we went, it, it, was, it was the three of us for quite some time. Until John started getting a little flustered. So John started finding things to do that Hannah could not be a part of. And of course, I had a choice to make. Do I go with John, or do I hang out with well, you all know the choice that I made. It was a no-brainer. I hung out with Hannah. From that point on, Hannah and I did everything together. We were best friends. No matter where I went, she went. Where she went, I went. We were always together. It was amazing. Then the day came. The day that I've been waiting for. I go over to meet Hannah at her house. John is not there. Her parents are not there. I'm 17 at this point. She's 16. She invites me up to her room. I was like, oh. Honestly, I'm shaking just thinking about it. I was like, this is the day. This is the day. We go up to her room and we're chatting for a minute, for a few minutes, and that happens. She starts to undress. I'm like, oh my. I am freaking out, because I don't know what to do. I'm 17, right? You know what 17-year-old boys are like, right? <laughs> I'm beside myself. And then I have a moment of clarity. Just a brief moment, not much. I realize what's going on. Hannah is changing her clothes in front of me. Oh, no. 
I'm in the friend zone <laughs> in a big way. It happened multiple times after that. The, the, the big slap in the face came about six, because we continued to hang out. It was no big deal. I'm thinking my, I should do something. I should say something. But of course, that never happened. The, the, the big slap in the face came the day that she informs me that she's going on a date with one of my other friends. To make it even worse, she asked me to help her prepare for her date. <laughs> so yes, I am over at Hannah's house and I'm helping her get ready for her date, helping her pick out her clothes. Of course, she looks amazing. My friend Bob comes over and he has picks her up and goes on her way. Her parents are home. After she leaves with my friend Bob, they turn to me, both of them, and look at me and say, I thought you were dating Anna. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Broken. I, 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 I was, the, I, I, honestly, I can still remember the feeling. That was a, a couple of days ago. It, it was awful. But what happened? What happened that, so during that period of time? This is over about a year and a half period. What happened during that time was I never spoke up. I never said anything to Hannah about anything other than friendship. Nothing. Why? Because of fear. I was afraid that I had said something that I would lose Hannah. In reality, I never had Hannah. Had I said something, and if we were such good friends, we would have been able to get through it if she had absolutely no interest. But what if she was interested? Think of how things would have been different. So what I suggest to you, take a risk. Whether it be in a relationship, maybe it's in business, maybe it's a social thing, maybe it's just someone inviting you to go do something. Take a risk and see just how incredible your life could possibly be. Fellow testers. Thank you, Jim.